Hello everyone, welcome to all. We are doing the fourth chapter of civics for class 10th, gender, religion and caste. In a last video lecture, we talked about gender and politics. In this video, we will discuss religion, communalism and politics. You know that people of all religions live in India and unlike gender differences, the influence of religious differences can be seen in politics. Also, there are many examples that show the relationship between religion and politics. And about religion and politics, Mahatma Gandhi used to say that religion cannot be separated from politics. But when Mahatma Gandhi ji talked about religion, he did not talk about any particular religion like Hindus or Islam. But he was talking about the moral values, the moral values that are there in all religions. Each religion has similar and different moral values. And Gandhiji believed that politics must be guided by the moral values of religion. And then there are many human rights groups in a country. Human rights groups are the groups that fight for the basic rights of humans. So, according to many human rights groups, the victim of communal rights in a country are people from religious minorities. Communal rights are a form of violence that occurs between communities of different religions like Hindu or Muslim. And in India, Hindus is the majority with 79% of the country's total population. And minority communities are Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Buddhists, Parsi and Jainis. So according to human rights groups, the victims of communal rights in a country are people from religious minorities. And therefore the human rights groups demanded that the Indian government should take special steps to protect religious minorities. And another example is that the Women's movement has argued that the family laws of all the religious discriminate against women. Family laws are the laws that family related matters such as marriage, divorce, adoption, inheritance, etc. So in our country, different family laws apply to followers of different religions. So these movements, the women movements, have demanded that the Indian government should change these laws to reduce gender inequality. So through all these examples, we can understand the relation between religion and politics. In short, you can write the relationship between religion and politics. Gandhiji used to say that religion can never be separated from politics. Gandhiji believed that politics must be guided by the moral values of religion. And according to human rights groups, the victim of communal rights are people from religious minorities. So they demanded that the government should take special steps to protect religious minorities. And women movements uh, has argued that family laws of all religions discriminate against women. So the family laws should be changed by the government. Communalism. What is communalism? How does communalism take various forms in politics? So you know that in a country, people of different religions live and as they have different cultures, so it is necessary that the political leaders who hold the political power should treat every religion equally so that all the religious communities can live peacefully in a country. But the problem begins when religion becomes the basis of nation. When people of any religion believe that their religion is superior to other religions and the political party which is supported by their religious community should come in power and make the policies only in favor of their community. So this is a communal thought or a communal ideology. So communalism is a way of thinking that one religion and its followers are superior to other religions and their followers. It is a kind of ideology that promotes violence and clashes in society. And according to this ideology, people belonging to different religions cannot live as equal citizens within one nation. Either one of them has to dominate the rest or they have to form different nations. That means either one community which is considered itself superior 
to other communities has to dominate others or all the communities of the country should form different nations that means the division of the country so communalism is a way of thinking that one religion and its followers are superior to other religions and their followers it is a kind of ideology that promotes violence and clashes in society and according to this ideology people belonging to different religions cannot live as equal citizens within one nation either one of them has to dominate the rest or they have to form different nations that means either one community which is considered itself superior to other communities has to dominate others or all the communities of the country should form different nations that means the division of the country so communism can take various forms in politics the most common expression that we don't even realize is in everyday beliefs like we often say that this religion people eat this kind of food or the marriage system of that religion is not good these are prejudices and stereotypes about the religions the baseless opinions and ideas about each person of a particular group so we believe that our religion is superior to other religions but we don't even realize so this is the first uh, form of communalism in politics and the second form of communalism in politics is communal mind or a person who believes that his religion is superior to other religion this kind of people always try to dominate the people of other religions and if this kind of communal mind people belong to the major religious community of country then the majority try to impose their domination on the minority in country for example what happened in belgium the dutch speaking majority people try to impose their domination on the minority french speaking people so in this case when majority try to impose their domination on the minority the minority will try to form a separate nation and a country could be divided into many parts and another form of communalism in politics is political mobilization on religious lines political mobilization is a process of preparing the people of a particular religion to vote for a particular political party in this process leaders use religious symbols make emotional appeals to get the vote of people and the ugliest form of communalism in politics is communal violence riots and massacre in communal riots people of one religion become so violent that they start killing the people of another religion many people lose their lives and loved ones for example india and pakistan suffered some of the worst communal riot at the time of partition that means communalism was responsible for the division of a country into india and pakistan so communalism is a way of thinking that one religion and its followers are superior to the other religions and their followers and according to this ideology people belonging to different religions cannot live as equal citizens within one nation either one of them has to dominate the rest or they have to form different nations and communalism can take various forms in politics the most common expression of communalism is in everyday beliefs we use religious prejudices and stereotypes in our daily routine and the majority of communal minds try to impose domination on the minority they force minority to have a desire of the separate nation and the political mobilization on religious lines is another form of communalism in politics religious leaders use religious symbols and make emotional appeals to bring the followers of one religion together in the political arena and the ugliest form of communalism in politics is communal violence riots and massacre for example communal riots during the partition of a country into india and pakistan 